she's not insecure. No, 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 no. It's still flyer than the mother. Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. This is gonna be my April favorites video. Um, I'm going to try to upload a video at least once a week, so bear with me. Um, I decided to do this video because it's the end of April. And I didn't want to miss out on my favorites. I don't know how much filming I'm going to do next week. I'm not feeling well whatsoever. I think I'm catching a cold. So I, I don't know how... I don't know what my next video is going to be. Just hopefully I can get over this cold quickly. But so if my voice or if I sneeze or do anything crazy, my voice is going in and out. I can hardly speak. So I'm trying to hurry this up. And let's just jump right into it. So my first favorite, as you probably would guess, is the Cover FX. Custom Cover Dropper. Yes, I can say it right finally. Cover FX Custom Cover Dropper. And I did a whole separate video on this foundation. I love this foundation. This has been my go-to foundation. I, there's nothing I don't love about this foundation. I have actually two because one was way, um, well not way too light for me. One was a shade lighter for me than I imagined. Um, so what I did was I paired it with the G60. And the Pro Longwear Concealer, I think this is an NC45, and it was my perfect shade. But I went to Sephora and I got another one just because I love this thing so much and I want it in a shade that's for me that I don't have to mix it with. And that was G770, so that's the color I'm in. But if you decide to go a little lighter, you can, also, you can mix this product. But I'm not going to go too far into this product. If you want to see my video on it, just click on the last video that I just made and I'll have a link to it in the description box. So go for it. Um, my next favorite is, we're going to stick on the face for a second. This is a highlighter from um, Laura, Merc Laura Mercier um, and it's called Indiscretion. Um, I'm making this video right now where you can get this highlighter for $28 on Macy's. I paid like $42 or $44 for it but now it's only $28 on Macy's so if you don't have it go get it now. Just because I don't know how long it's going to last. But I'm letting you know. Go get it for $28. I wish I would have known. Or hold out. Or whatever. But I got this um, right away. I got this right away as soon as it came out. Just because it was so pretty. And like I said. It's in, in this question. And I'm wearing it right now. as a little highlight. I don't have too much on. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah I don't have too much on my face. But I'm wearing it right now. It's pretty. One swipe does the job. It's a sh I have like a whole bunch of swatches on my hand already. Well, it's a champagne color and I believe this is it. Because I filmed this video about three times now. Um, this is the champagne color right here. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know. I think all skin tones can use it actually. I'm just a little skeptical about pale um, skin tones just because I'm not sure if it will show up a little. It would show up or show up a little ashy. I'm not sure about that. So if you are pale and you got this and it works for you, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm kind of curious about that. But my skin tone and darker, oh my gosh, I love this, I love this um, highlight. This is the only highlighter I've really been really trying to rock this last month and I, I, I can't, I can't leave it alone. So go for it. Alright, my last face product is this Estee Lauder um, blush and this is an orangey type of color. It's very pigmented, I can tell you that much. It is extremely pigmented, so it's not as forgiving if you dabble it, like if you put your brush in and just blot all over your face, you probably look like a clown at the end of the day because this thing is very pigmented. It does last all day, and that's what I like about um, blushes, just because I feel like some blushes, they'll, they'll look nice, and then three hours later, you're like, oh, I don't blush? Really? But this actually lasts all day. I got this from the OCC store, so hopefully it's online. I don't like talking about products that are like limited edition or not able. You're not able to get just because I feel like that's a waste of time. Why would you tell me about a product that I can't get? So um, hopefully it's online. But I'm just mentioning this Estee Lauder blush just because I like it for my skin tone. I like orange blushes, and I'm sure there's a lot of Estee Lauder blushes that are amazing. So I don't want you guys sleeping on them because I hardly hear about their blushes and I got this for like 30 something dollars. It is kind of pricey but this is a very nice blush. And I don't know if I mentioned the color but it is in Naughty Satin. And I'll probably link it down below. Alright we're going to move on to eye eyeliners because that's the only thing I have. I don't have any eyeshadows or anything. You know why I don't have any eyeshadows is because the Sephora, um, what is it, the Sephora... 
VIB and VIB Rouge to see what's going on at the end of this month. So I didn't want to buy too much products to be real with you. I didn't want to buy too much products and then buy a whole bunch of products um, from those sales. And then Ulta was also having a sale. So I did get a lot of stuff that I am going to be reviewing this month in the um, my in May. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll probably have a little more favorites for you guys in May just because, I mean, I spent all my money at those sales and I wasn't going to go buy anything extra. I just got things that I felt like was necessary. Um, but anyways, this product is um, this LA Cosmetics, what is it, the gel eyeliner. Um, Lester Lux actually has a channel on here and this is who I heard it from. And she's very beautiful, she's gorgeous, I love watching her videos, um, go check it out. And she was telling us about this eyeliner and she's saying how fabulous it is. It is gorgeous, it's very creamy, it's very pigmented, it stays, it's not runny, it's gorgeous. The only problem I have with this eyeliner, and maybe it's just me, but I can't use this eyeliner more than three times. The reason why I'm saying this is just because I use a lot of eyeliner just because I like eyeliner. Of you. Like I said, I will only use this three times just because I can't sharpen this thing. I can't sharpen this thing. It doesn't retract. So I'm not sure how to, to get more product out. That's I'm, I'm baffled about the product. Um, I can use it three times, but I can't get any more product out. I wish I can show you, but like I'm down to nothing. And it's a long pencil, so I'm trying to figure out. Is it just the pencil or is there more product? I don't know. If you guys know about this eyeliner and if I can use it more than once, well, more than three times and then toss it, even though um, I got this at my beauty supply store and it was like, what, $1.29, so I can't complain too much. I would purchase it again. I just know that I would have to purchase it in like bulks because as soon as this runs out, I have to open up another one. And I think it's worth it for $1.29 and... I like it, but I just wish I can use a little more of it. But that's just me being greedy. So you can go get that product. Go get it. It's good. My next product is this e.l.f. gel eyeliner. I love this product to death. As you can see, I have about 18 of them on backup. I try to use as much as I can. And it's very creamy. It's very pigmented. Um, it's... It stays in place. It's it's pigmented. This is something that I use almost every day. Um, I haven't been using this too much this month, but in the beginning of this much I, um, month, I did use it, and I I know it's my favorite just because I this is my go-to eyeliner. It's not the eyeliner I have on right now. I'll tell you the eyeliner I have on right now, but that'll be at the end of the video. It'll be at the end of the video, um, but yeah, so go get this eyeliner. There's nothing else I can say about it. It wears, it's pigmented, it's creamy, doesn't move. Um, it's not waterproof, I can tell you that much. It's not waterproof. And neither is this LA Girl eyeliner, but it's good. $3, go get it. My next product is, we're going to move on to lips. I only have two more favorites left, to be honest. It's this MAC lip gloss, and it's in Lussie. Lussie Lux. I'm butchering the name, so I'll put the name down below because I don't know how to say it, and I'm not gonna say here a lot of you. But um, yeah, it's a lip gloss. To be honest with you, I haven't really been wearing lipstick or liquid liquid lipsticks too much. I don't know. I just feel like my lips need a break. Um, so I've been popping on lip liner and lip gloss and keeping it moving on lip gloss and chapstick and keeping it moving. So this has been covering my lips again. This is what's on now. I don't have any lipstick on, no lip liner, no nothing. This is just it, and it's just a lip gloss. A lot of people say that they don't like MAC lip glosses because it's too sticky, but I'm the type of person that I like a, sti a sticky lip gloss. I, I feel like it wears better than me, but that's preference, and that's my preference. I love MAC lip glosses, but this is the one that I've been rocking all month. I was skeptical of mentioning this product just because I feel as if as if this product I mean it's expensive I'm not gonna say a lot of you for a lip um a lipstick I think I paid 30 something dollars for this lipstick and it's from Chanel um I do have a couple of I have I think around four more Chanel lip gloss um lipsticks and I like their lips lip I like their um lip gloss I like their lipsticks um but 
I don't like the price of the lip um, lipsticks. If this thing was sensational and I couldn't live without it, if it was YSL lip um, lipstick, then I'm, I'm rocking it. But this, I'm skeptical of mentioning it just because it's pricey and it's not all that great, but it is my favorite for this month. I wore this at the end of March. I didn't want to put it in my March video just because, um, my March favorites video just because I didn't wear it too much to say it was my favorites. But now that we're in April and I can actually say I wore it in the, at the end of March, um, before I went on my little lip gloss kick, this lip, um, lipstick has been something, something that's good to me. It lasts long enough for me. Um, it's, it's creamy, it's pigmented enough where, mm, it's simple. That's what I like to call this lipstick. And it's in, it's the Rouge Coco in Rossi. I believe it's Rossi. And it's a very nice pink color. It's nice for the summer and the springtime. Um, that's what I've been wearing lately is just a lot of pink just because I like pink in the summer and the springtime on my lips. Um, I think it, it looks good on my lips. But yeah, so this is something that I didn't want to mention too much or talk about it too much because it is a little pricey. Um, would I say it's worth the money? Eh, eh. I mean, not necessarily, but I liked it enough to where I would purchase another one. But you don't have to go out there. This isn't the best product in the world. You don't have to go out there and spend $30 something dollars on lipstick. And if you are, go to YSL or a different company rather than the Chanel. But I like the Chanel lip um, lipsticks. This table is always falling. Alright, so my favorites is done. Yay, we got through it. Um, Like I said, I probably have more in the month of May just because I feel like I picked up a little more in the, for the month of May. And I'm happy to try out those products now. But um, I want to get into something really quickly that, to me, I feel like it, it needs to be addressed. Um, a lot of people on YouTube talk about their favorites and how much they love this product and all this other stuff, but they don't talk enough about products that they don't like. I'm sure you, everybody buys products that they don't like. I don't know it's because they don't want to bash the brand or whatever else like that. And it's not really bashing the brand because a lot of these products I'm about to talk about right now, I love the brand. I just don't like the product. So I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, go get this product because I really don't like it. And I want to tell you what I don't like as well as the things that I do like. I, it's hand in hand to me. And it makes sense. Um, so that's basically what my favorites video is going to be. It's going to be my favorites and my not so favorite ones. My, I don't want to say regrets. Actually, I'm going to say regrets. Um, my regrets. Again, this is my preference. Um, you might like the product, it might work for you, but for me it does not work. If you want to go get it, still, after, go for it. If you don't, hey, go buy something else. I just want to make sure and let you know products that I don't like. Okay, so this is a Smashbox Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Eyeliner, and this is in Jet Black. It came out in the beginning of the, I want to say the beginning of the end of March, and I was excited for it just because I was like, eh, I don't buy too much expensive eyeliners and mascaras just because I feel like it's unnecessary. Um, I can get this, which is $3, and this is the outfit I was just talking about, for $3, and it works just as good. Or not, mm, not just as good. This works better than this, and I paid 20 something dollars for this, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I don't like it. And usually when I'm using it, it's in a, I'm probably in a hurry, so I want to just swipe, 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 make my angle, do whatever I want to do with my eyeliner at the time, and keep it moving. This, I was not able to do that. I was trying to figure out how the heck do I get it to work, and <clears throat> there's a clicker thingy. <laughs> it's a clicker thingy. That's what I'm calling it. It's a clicker thingy where you press it and the eyeliner comes out. Now. Nah. You have to, when you first use this, you have to click it about 18 times. And after the fifth time, I'm like, well, am I doing it right? Am I, am I not doing it right? And then I was like this, trying to get it out. And I was like this. And it doesn't come with clear instructions on how to use the thing. So I'm over here trying to get ready for work and trying to get this eyeliner on. And it's not working out for me. Um, so I finally was just, I kept clicking it. And I promise you it had to been about 20 times. And then I was like, oh, there's a product. Now this product comes out chunky. I don't want no chunky eyeliner. It's hard to use. I don't like chunky eyeliners. I made a swatch on my last video that I made for you guys um, 
of it right here. It came out clumpy. I'm running out of hands in the room. So I'll show you. I just pulled some up and just like that you have to like really just rub it. It's not a swipe. It just comes out clumpy. So you have to rub it in and then at that time it gets everywhere. Everywhere. So uh, I don't know what they were thinking about this and also it smudges very quickly like it smudges it does look on my finger well on my finger I, I just don't like this eyeliner my thing is once I put on my eyes I want it to stay because that's exactly what I bought it for I mean it's not a bad eyeliner it's just not that good and it, honestly if you weren't if you were just starting off an eyeliner this makes it look it makes it look easy, but it's not. And it's not even a brush. It's more of a rubber, a rubber applicator. And it's not a brush. And it, it just doesn't work. That's all I have to say. It doesn't work for me, at least. It, it's not something that I would buy again. Um, I felt like the pigmentation is nice. It's very, it's very black, but... I still will rock with this for three dollars opposed to twenty something dollars. This got to go. I think that's why I I, I just I wasn't feeling it. My whole table's falling. All right, this is gonna be on my lap. Oh, okay. So my next product is something that I would I hate to put in this video. I truly do because I was so excited for when this product came out. I'm sorry, my hair's in my face. I'm sorry. Um, I was so excited for this product when it came out and. I felt like it let me down drastically, like tremendously. Like it, it was very disappointing to me. I kind of, I was very heartbroken just because soon I was, I was waiting for this thing to come out. Everybody was hyping it up. Everywhere I went on Instagram and blogs, they were hyping this product up. And it was just like yes. And this is one of my favorite brands. I'm sorry, yes. This is one of my favorite brands and. It let me down so much. It's not even funny. Hold on. Let me get these two products in my hand. Um, it let me down so much. It's not even funny. Um, I, I hate to put it in here, but I have to. I do not discriminate against products. If your product don't work for me, I'm going to let you know, regardless of your name or whatever else in that matter. And hopefully you can do better next time. For me, at least. This is the NARS. Yes, I'm saying NARS. NARS let me down. Usually I love their blushes. Their blushes is one of my favorite blushes. But this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Nah, it ain't working for me. Um, and this is the... I even saved the packaging. <laughs> I always say packaging for some reason. The Dual Intensity Blush. And this is in Jubilation. Yeah, Jubilation. And this thing is gorgeous in the packaging, I promise you, it is gorgeous in the packaging, but, but, when it's time to put it on that face, it don't show up. And that's my problem. I have to swipe this thing about 18 times just to get a pigment, um, to get it off. To me, it looks so pretty in the packaging, but, mm-mm, it don't work for my skin tone, mm-mm, you can't see it. And this thing was 40, I want to say $45. It was in the 40 range and it's expensive or $49. It's very expensive. And for me to have to swipe it 18 times, it ain't working. And it comes off good on your fingers. It does. I'm not going to say a lot of you. It does come off good on your fingers. So that's why I was like in the store when I got this, I was like, ooh, this is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Have to have it. But then when you put it on your skin, it just like fades away. I'm like, oh, where'd it go? Let me make sure I'm still recording. I'm like, oh, where'd it go? So I swipe it again. I'm like, well, maybe it's the brush. I tried this thing with three different brushes. Mm-mm. It ain't working. And that's exactly why I wanted my regrets. I probably wouldn't buy this again. NARS usually has the best blushes, in my opinion. It, the, bless, the best blushes. But this, they need to... um. Do something about this because this ain't working for my skin so i don't know about yours but it ain't working for mine i wanted to buy all of them but after that i was just like no i'll pass and i'll spend my money somewhere else because the money that i do make i treasure it just because i worked hard for it so i'm not going to just keep wasting it so it's not going to happen my last regret is this hourglass primer i paid 18 dollars for this i was going to buy the big bottle because everybody loved this um, primer. 
Everybody used to rave about it. The big bottle was, I think, is like $55, $60. I was like, let me try this out before I do that. And I'm happy that I did. I paid $18 for this little bottle. And let me tell you something. This primer does absolutely nothing for me. I mean, it's a regular primer. Um, it, it It's good. It feels nice. It has a texture that I do like. But when it comes to lasting on my face, I think I used it all up. When it comes to lasting on my face... It don't last. Um, I put it on at 8, got a touch up at 11. That is 3 hours. I didn't pay $18 or $55 to touch up every 3 hours. If that's the case, I could have went and got a cheaper primer. Um, and like I said, I, I, it's just not working out for me. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let's let's chat. I want to chat with you guys. Um, tell me what your favorites are. Tell me what you didn't like so much. Tell me what you think I need to try. Tell me if anything came out. Just tell me what your favorites are. And let's chat in the comments. I'm happy to always talk to you guys. And I guess that's it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.